Hello and welcome to an um, Attic Information Film. I'm Stephen Chambers. Uh, what I'm going to try and do today is show you how, if you receive a Attic camera, uh, how to get it running on a laptop. Uh, also the kind of things you're going to find in the box itself and the, the very basics of running with our software. So first thing to note really is that we're, we're not outside, there's no telescopes, it's during the day, uh, it's warm, we've got a cup of coffee. These are the right kind of environment in which to install software and to basically open up the box and get used to running the software. Please, uh, if you get the option, don't try and do this at night because it can get complicated with you know different wires and learning different software when, you, when you're kind of in the cold and when time is fairly limiting. So yeah, let's, let's take our time and let's see what's in the box. Okay, so this is just fresh off the shelf. And here we have the packing list. We have uh, an instruction book and a quick start guide. Well worth having a read. Uh, there's lots of information and tips on getting started in it. We're gonna cover quite a lot of that in this video, but it's, it's well worth uh, just having a read of that. This is the camera itself. Uh, so it's a, uh, it's, it's a what we think is quite an attractive little case there. Uh, we've got a power connection on the back of it and a USB connection. So we'll, we'll need to connect both those up and get that running on the computer. Also in the box you're going to find a USB cable. Uh, and there's also a cigarette lighter power socket. So the camera itself doesn't come with a 12 volt supply. We can either use the a 12 volt supply comes with a power with a cigarette power socket, or there, there is an optional 12 volts uh, adapter which I'll be using today. Right then, so that's the camera. This is the laptop. The first thing to do now is to get the software running on the laptop. So, the software itself uh, it comes on a disc, uh, it's, it's usually inside the quick start guide. Now I'm going to suggest really that you don't, uh, all the software you need is on this disk, but uh, if you've got an option, if you've got an internet connection on the laptop, don't, don't install off the disk. Go onto our website. Uh, on the download section under core software, well, it's the same software but the most recent version. We use a single installer and it installs all the different components. So if you, from time to time, go onto the website, download that. Anything that's updated in the most recent installer uh, will then update my system if you give that a run. Okay, so this is the, the software package here that I've downloaded from the website. Uh, it always has the name Setup Artemis Universal XE. And say so it's a executable and it contains all of our software that we're going to need. So I'll just give that a double click. Uh, I'll give that a double click. Right. Okay, so it's uh, given us a standard uh, security warning. So we are going to be okay to run that file. Okay, do you want to make changes? Obviously we do want to make changes because we're going to install the software. Now under this piece of software, it's worthwhile reading what the, what the message boxes and what the information boxes are telling us on the screen. So it says, welcome to the Artemis Software Setup Wizard. Uh, the, this will install Artemis software on your computer. It's recommended that you close other applications before continuing. Uh, click next, continue and exit to cancel. So we haven't got anything else running apart from the screen capture software. I'm gonna need that or we're not gonna see anything. Okay, next thing is saying what the default directory is gonna be when we install that. Uh, it's probably best not to change that from the, from the standard. So that's gonna go into our program files directory. Okay, now the next uh, the next box is is the one where we need to take a little time and care over. Okay, for I read it, it says set up additional components. Set up will install core software and filter wheel software and documentation. And it says which additional components would you like to install? So uh, in this case, what we need to install are the drivers. So if we look down here, I've actually already ticked drivers. And we get an option on all these different components of additional software that we can install. So there's all the ASCOM drivers. If you've got AstroArt, you can install the AstroArt plugin, the CCD soft plugin. Uh, if we're using an Attic GP camera, then we have the option to install that GP software, which is slightly different to the standard software we have. 
Again, we've got the Dawn Imaging Pro Image Processing Program. We'll probably do another one of these uh, on image processing with Dawn. And there's also some video tutorials on the website using Dawn. So if you want to try that one out, have a look at the video and install Dawn. Uh, again, we've got Maxim, DL plugins, uh, software development kits, .NET wrappers, and ImageGA plugins. The things down the bottom we don't really need to worry about. Uh, but what we are going to install is the drivers, which are the USB drivers that we're going to need to run the camera. Okay, so it's just telling us that it's going to create a program shortcut in Artemis CCD. So let's carry on with that and install. Uh, it does take a minute or two. Uh, it's now unpacking all the files. It's got to do this. The laptop I've got here isn't terribly powerful and it's also trying to record the video of the screen. So we're just going to have to be a little patient with it. There we go. Uh, we have to make sure that there are some Visual C runtimes installed on the computer. And that's what it's doing at the moment. Okay, so now we're up to the device installation wizard. And this is the bit where it's installing the USB drivers. And what we just have to do is click on next. And it's uh, it's it's currently completing that. Now what you may find is that it will ask you whether or not you trust Artemis CCD at some point. And it'll give you a checkbox whether or not you always want to trust Artemis CCD. I think on this laptop we've already pressed that checkbox, uh, so we're not getting the option yet to, to confirm whether or not we accept the certificate on these drivers. But anyway, if you see that checkbox, just click through it. It's not saying anything worrying, it's just telling us that you know, your computer hasn't been set to always accept our software. Okay, uh, there we go. So we're going to finish the device driver installation wizard. And it says click finish to exit setup. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to break the first part of the tutorial there. Uh, in the second part, we'll look at making a pinhole lens. And that's in part two. So hopefully, see you in part two.